And more and more countries are investigating their Confucius Institutes and probing whether they are used by the Chinese regime as tools of influence, censorship and discrimination. In Germany, a state parliament had the first hearing ever probing the institute's role. NTD's Germany correspondent Christian Watchin has the story. On Tuesday, the Bavarian parliament had Germany's first hearing on Confucius Institutes. The Chinese regime has set up those organizations, usually at universities, formally to promote Chinese culture. Critics say they are part of the CCP's global soft power campaign. In Bavaria, one member of parliament had to threaten to sue before the government revealed that the Confucius Institute in Nuremberg has been funded with taxpayer money for six years. As a member of parliament, one is somewhat wary if, of all things, the cooperation with the Chinese Communist Party or its extended arm through Confucius Institutes is kept secret. A former state governor denied the institute is part of Beijing influence operations. And I consider this partnership with sponsorship to be a very, very important argument because it enables wise leadership to say we are not just the extended arm of Beijing, but we are the bridge that has to promote cultural exchange. He also said the taxpayer-funded subsidies allow the institute to be more independent from Beijing and there are no taboo topics. Doris Liu, director of the documentary, in the name of Confucius, does not find this convincing. She said she met three representatives of German Confucius Institutes who told her they had to sign a paper agreeing not to discuss certain topics. Those include independence for Taiwan and Tibet, concentration camps in Xinjiang, and the Tiananmen Square massacre. She also points out a discrimination policy practiced at all institutes. And Confucius Institutes also discriminate people who practice Falun Gong, which is a breaches to human rights codes in any democratic country. This requirement is even listed on the English language website of Hanban, the agency under which the CCP's education ministry is operating the institutes. Falun Gong is a spiritual practice based on truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance that has been persecuted in China for over 20 years. Reporting by Christian Watchen, Entity News, Berlin.